Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this video, I'll show you how to create water fill animation effect in PowerPoint 2013. The beautiful water fill animation effect you will learn to create today looks like this. First, you have a text that you want to fill water with. In this case, I have used the word water. Then on a click, water gets poured into the text and that is how the water fills the text and the water flowing is taken off. It's a beautiful effect, isn't it? Let me show you how the effect looks once again. I click and the water starts filling and it is a very realistic animation and it is something that is worth learning. Let me show you how to create this beautiful effect from scratch by going to a new slide. The first step is to go to Auto Shapes menu, pick up the text box tool and write the text that you want to fill with water. In this case, I have written the word water. Then let me change the font to something that is naturally thick. Like in this case, I'm choosing something called Alpha Slab 1, which I downloaded from the net. You can always choose something like Arial Black, which is a naturally thick font. Then I'm going to increase the size of the font all the way till 96 and I'm going to hit it a couple more times so that you are able to clearly see the effect that I'm about to show you. The next step is to make a copy of this by pressing Ctrl D. For one of these options, we are going to go to format and go to say text fill and say no fill and have the text outline as black and then increase the weight maybe to around three points or four and a half points. Now we have got the outline ready. The next one is the inner fill. Now we are going to go to text fill and choose a light blue color which reminds you of the color of the water. You can choose any color of your choice. Maybe I can choose something like this. And then I'm going to go to text outline and say no outline. So all we have done is we have chosen a word that we want to fill with water. Then we have taken a copy of it and created one with outline, another one with fill. Now with this done, the next step is to create the water fill effect. Now to do that, I'm going to choose a very interesting shape and that is a simple rectangle minus a few shapes. Let me show you what I mean by that. Let us go to Auto Shapes menu, pick up a simple rectangle tool. And then I'm going to pick up the oval tool. I'm going to right click on the oval tool and I'm going to say lock drawing mode because I'm going to draw a number of ovals of different shape. So I'm going to say lock drawing mode. So my cursor turns into a crosshair structure and I'm going to draw the first oval and then the second oval and then the third oval. Just see how I am varying the size of the ovals here and I am really making it random and maybe something like that is good enough. Now with that done, to get your cursor back into the regular shape, go back to Auto Shapes menu, click on the oval tool and now your cursor is back in its original shape. Now I'm going to select all of these shapes that I've drawn and I'm going to go to Arrange, Align and say Align Top. So they all are aligned in one line. And I'm going to bring this forward so that you can clearly see what I'm doing here. So bring to front and maybe you can give it a different color, say uh, something like red. Now you can see when there is a bit of transparency, you can really see how I am arranging the rectangle in such a way that it is simulating the top surface of the wave. Now with this done, I'm going to select the rectangle first. I'm going to hold the shift button down as I click and drag across the rest of the shapes and then go to format tab in PowerPoint ribbon, go to merge shapes and then I'm going to say subtract. Now as soon as I did that, you have a beautiful waveform and this is going to help us create the effect that I had shown you of how the water rises from the surface. Then we are going to go to shape outline and say no outline and we are going to increase the height of it to such an extent that it is able to completely cover the text. I think this is pretty decent size. And I'm also going to extend this so that it covers the entire breadth of the word. Now that looks beautiful. Now I'm going to keep it here in such a way that the word is not at all visible. 
Now with this done, the next step is to animate this object so you get the wavy surface for water. Now what I'm going to do here is go to animations tab in PowerPoint ribbon, go to animation pane and keep it open so you can clearly see what I'm doing. I'm going to apply two animations. The first animation is a motion path animation. I'm going to click on lines and I'm going to change the effect options to up so that the movement is like this. So you need to have this move all the way till it goes out. So that is a very important one. So I'm going to make sure that I click on the animation and then I'm going to hold the shift button down and I'm going to move it all the way till the top of the surface of uh, this particular shape. And now that ensures that this shape is completely out of the word that we have got underneath. Now one part of the job is done. We are going to go to um, the small arrow here, go to effect options and we are going to make sure that there is no smooth start and smooth end and I'm going to say OK. So this is how the animation happens. And now the next step is to add another animation on top of this and that is called teeter animation. So I'm going to go to add animation option here and I'm going to say teeter. So this is how it teeters and it has to happen with previous. So as it goes up, it teeters and it, I'm going to have it teeter a couple of times. So I'm going to say effect options, go to timing and I'm going to say repeat maybe until maybe four times or five times. So let me say five times and I'm going to say OK. And it is going to teeter a little faster. So I'm going to say maybe around 0.5 seconds and I'm going to increase the duration of my earlier animation to match the length of the new animation that I've just created. So they both are properly matched. Now let us see how this animation plays and before that I'm going to change the color of this to white. So I'm going to go to home, go to shape fill and give it a white color. And now let us go to the slideshow mode and see how the animation plays. On a click you have the water appearing beautifully. Awesome, isn't it? Now all that is left for us to do is to place this outline on top of the earlier text so that the effect is complete. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to right click and say bring to front. Now I need to keep this exactly on top of the earlier text and how do I do that? I'm going to take this white shape that is on top of my text. I'm going to add a bit of transparency, go to format shape, go to fill and add a little bit of transparency so you can clearly see what is behind. And then I'm going to select this and move it right on top of the earlier text. And once I'm happy with the position, I'm going to go back to uh, the animated shape and then I'm going to go to transparency and bring back the transparency to 0%. And now let us go to the slideshow mode and see the effect once again. You can see that first you have the outline and then on a click, the water is revealed. Beautiful. Now there is just one final step to make this whole thing tie up together and that is to have some water flowing in and then flowing out. And for that, I'm going to go to Auto Shapes menu, pick up the rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a thin stream of water. It is nothing but a simple rectangular bar and I'm going to have the outline removed and I'm going to have the same color that I chose for my text like this one. And the way I'm going to animate this is I'm going to have animations, animation pane open. I'm going to have this wipe from top. So let me go to wipe animation, go to effect options and say from top. Now the water is flowing in. It, I'm going to have this start everything. So I'm going to have this as the first animation. And after the water comes and hits the surface is when we are going to have the earlier animation to happen. So we are going to say after previous. And once the animation is over, we are going to go back to the same shape once again and we are going to add another animation. And the animation we are going to add is wipe exit animation. And as you can see, that is how the water gets stopped or goes away. And this is going to happen after previous. To give you a quick uh, interpretation of these four animation events in English, first on a click, the water 
wipes down and hits the surface after that two things are going to happen this subject this particular shape that we have created which is uh, in the form of a wave is going to move up while teetering at 0.5 seconds four or five different times to give the illusion of water rising and once that particular animation is over we are going to have this water wipe out so that is the entire sequence of animation now let us see how the animation plays go to slideshow mode on a click and that is how the animation plays beautiful isn't it it's a very useful animation to learn and one of the main reasons why i teach you such animations is for you to understand animation in the best possible way how different animations play together what is the way that you need to sequence the animations to get the kind of effect that you imagine in your mind of course there is no doubt that i want you to be as good with powerpoint animation as possible but then in these kind of free tutorials there is only so much i can do if you truly want to master powerpoint animation then you need to sign up for a structured program like ram gopal's powerpoint mastery program in fact in the program i have an entire section called powerpoint animations mastery which has more than 110 videos that teach you everything that you need to know about custom animation once you finish that section you will be very confident about your powerpoint animation skills you can find more details about ram gopal's powerpoint mastery by clicking on the link below in the description and by the way as a thank you gift for watching this video this far i have put together a useful free mini training called learn 25 creative powerpoint ideas to make your slides slick and interesting if you're a business owner an executive a trainer or a consultant you will find this 25 creative ideas extremely useful you can sign up for the free mini training by clicking on the button here i'll also leave a link to the mini training in the description area below this video So please sign up and I'll see you inside the mini training.